Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a good looking puzzle here. Uh, this one looks like it's Little Killers and Sandwiches, which we haven't done. I guess we haven't done either one of those in a little bit, so that's going to be fun. So um, let's just jump into this thing, see what's going on. So it's called One at a Time by Tegel. Um, and then we have rules. So killer. So in cages, digits must sum to these small clue in the top left corner of the cage. And digits do not repeat. Couple of spelling errors there, that's no big deal. Um, killer cages. So these will add up to 42, these to 28, those to 41, those to 29, etc. Uh, we also have little killer. So digits along marked diagonal sum to the number indicated outside the grid. So the, the clues that have the arrows are going to be our little killer clues. And they're going to be telling us that the, the digits along those pointing ways are going to be what that adds up to so those will add up to 18 these up to 12 those to 17 13 etc um then we have sandwich sums so digits between one and nine in the indicated row or column must sum to the indicated value so these are the 29 clues here are sandwich clues so somewhere we're going to put a one and a nine in this column because you have to and then the digits in between those one and nine will add up to that value and then we also have okay we have crop key which is the cells joined by a black dot must have a, a ratio of two and cells joined by a white dot must have a difference of one. So these guys here will be, have a difference of one or be consecutive. And then these two here will have a ratio of two to one or one of them will be double the other. And then we also have German whispers. So uh, digits along, uh, adjacent digits along the green line have a difference of at least five. So whatever this value is, this one has to be five away from it. This one five away from that and so on down the line and that's it so i guess it's not it there's there's a few rules in here that we need to go through but um those are all of the rules so with that said links in the description below let's just give it a try see what's going on okay so question's going to be where do we want to start i guess we can think about these guys first yeah i guess these would be the best way because we know every region is going to add to 45. That's what the digits 1 through 9 add to. So if this is a 41 clue, these have to add to 4. And if these have to add to 4, they must be a 1-3 pair. We also know it's on a little killer of 13. So therefore, this one has to be 9 to get us to that value. I wonder if we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to have the same situations occur. So it looks like these guys are definitely working in conjunction with each other. We just have to start in one and then let the next one work out. So these are 42. So these have to add to three. So they are one and two. They are one and two to add to three. This has to be the nine because the diagonal must add in that way. Good. Um, let's just look at these guys. Is there anything with these that are worthwhile? The 29 means we have seven, 16, 16 left over. So these will be a nine, seven, and then this will be a one to finish our 17 clue. I have a feeling the 18 is gonna be very similar because 28 will leave us with 17. Correct, okay. So this will be nine and, oops, wrong thing. Nine and eight, and this will be one. Now, conveniently, we've just placed our ones and our nines on our sandwich lines. So we're gonna know these digits will add to 29 plus 10 that's 39 so these two digits will actually have to add up to six and we can't use a one so they will be two and four do we have the exact same thing happening here these do have to add up to six we can't use the one so they are a two and a four and we have a one two pair so this becomes four this becomes two this becomes four this becomes two good that is working beautifully now question's gonna be what do we okay let's think about this clue because we have a two and a four now looking at it so this can't be from one two four or eight so it has to be the three, six. The three, six will tell us this is one and three. Good. Uh, the two here actually looks back and says this is one and two. So we'll get that in there as well. Uh, we're going to have the same thing occur that we here that we did up here. 
we have the one, two, and four. So this can't have any of the one, two, four, eight groupings. So it must be three, six. Now the three, six here, okay, this can't be three because if it was, it'd have to put a two or a four here. We can't do that. So this is six and three and three and six. Now this six goes with either a five or a seven. We don't know exactly which one yet. We also do know that this grouping on the black crop key must be from the one, two, four, eight. It can't have a one on it. So it's two, four, or eight, and it will have a four. Okay. What more now do we have? Because we've essentially used our sandwich clues, our little killer clues, and most of our crop key. So what we have left over would be the killer cages, which I don't, I think we've pretty much used those anyway. So those aren't really giving us any more information. Um, so really all we have left is our German whisper, and we can start to think about those. One of these here must be a five, because you can't put a five in a German whisper. Now the sixes here is a good thing. We can't put a six here. We can't put a six here, because both of these will be ones. Can't put a six here, because both of these would be ones. Now, the problem is that leaves... Oh, no, it doesn't, because this six here says none of these can be sixes. So this is six. If that's six, these are both ones, because of how the German Whisper works. Good. Now, this is going to have to be a high digit. We can go through these. I don't know that we're going to get another digit specifically here, but we know this has to be high, because it has to be five away from one. So it's either six, seven, eight, or nine. Can't be six, obviously, and this comes back down to low when it can't be one, so it's two, three, or four. Good. Now, I was kind of hoping we had a four looking down on this guy, or in here, more specifically, and pushing the four, because that would tell us where the four goes, because again, we can't put a four here because these would both be nines. This can't be a four because these would both be nines. But this could be a four, because these two could be nines. Okay. Well, what else do we have looking? What about the three? The three is kind of working similarly to the six, I guess. Um, we know one of these is a... It's not as useful as the six, obviously. But it's... Well... Let's think about what those, what could occur here. If we were to put a three here, this is an eight, nine pair. If we were to put a three here, this is an eight, nine pair. If we were to put a three here, these would be from eight and nine, but not necessarily a pair. They could be the same value. So that doesn't really tell us too much there. Okay, what else do we have? Let's step back for a second one of these okay the ones we can go further with the ones none of these can be ones because of base sudoku this can't be a one because you'd have to put a two here so this is one let's keep going maybe we'll get something out of this we do this is a one and then this is a one what about twos since we're getting use out of these we might as well keep going with it and see if we get anything further. Eh, not really on the twos. Okay, anything three-wise? Just one of these. And one of those, I don't want to put that all in. Okay. Just trying to find this next bit of info that's going to get us where we need to go. And I'm not quite seeing. We might have to go back to our sandwich clues. And there might be a little bit more we can glean from there. Yeah, let's do that. Because we know... We know what these digits can be, so maybe there's some interactions here between what can and can't be. Let's think about this crop key first, though, in its relation to these. So... Can't have one or two. We could have three, can't have four, could have five, can't have six, seven, eight. Do any of those do anything 
for us? I think the answer is no. So that's not great. Um, hmm. Well, I have used all these up as best I can, right? 13, 8, 1, 9. And there's nothing finalizing these guys. Okay, yeah, there is. Sorry, that's what I didn't see. One of these is a 9, so this is 8 and 9. Do we have anything further there? One of these will be a 9. No, it doesn't look like we have that same interaction for this region. Yeah, not that I see. Curious. Okay. So maybe that wasn't exactly what we needed. Um, anything with this row? Five, seven, and eight. Okay, we can do that. The eight goes here. These are fives and sevens. Maybe something in rows and columns here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, nothing on that, seven, nothing on it, eight again, these can't be eight, so this is, and the nine, no, we just know one, well, yes, we do, okay, where does the nine go in the row, it goes in one of these two, well, this one can't be nine, because we have seven nine pairs, this is nine and seven, there we go, okay, now what are these two, fives and sevens, I think? Yeah, which matches up here. Okay, now let's go back to our nines a little bit. One of these would be a nine. One of these is a nine. Okay, not quite there. So let's think of some other. This guy created an, a, a set of digits here, so maybe there is some reduction as to what these guys can have. The twos could go most places. The four could go most places. Six could go anywhere. Seven's taken, nine, no, so there's nothing there that I see. Oh, the seven here, sorry. Five, seven, five, and seven. Again, we're just kind of getting stuff around the edges here. Picking away a little bit. Um, which one of these is going to give us what we want? Re what I really want is to break this guy up. Okay, the four here actually helps. Now that we have this sorted. This is a four. This can't be a four. If we go any further with our fours... This is a 4-9 pair. That's something we might be able to use with the column. Let's continue to look at our fours, though, real quick. Just in case. No. Okay, what are these guys? 3 and 6. That's not helping us just yet. Okay. What else now? Very slowly chipping away at some of this stuff. This can't be an eight. So maybe we need to check on our Sudoku again, because we have put a few digits in, so there might be some uh, digits that have been reduced from options that we can then use to our advantage. Or not. Mm -mm -mm. Not seeing it, at least not yet. It's only, oh, let's just say sevens. There we go. Again, we have to just find the right number here. That seven says this is nine. That nine says this is nine. 
which means this is 4 and 9. That force is 8. Okay, we've got a little bit more traction again now. Uh, did we f finalize our 9s? Okay, we've, we've got something onto this crop key, or the, the German Whisper now. That's good. But let's finalize our 9s first. And maybe I'll look at the 8s too, because I think we had those pop up into some use. Yep, 8. Uh, that force is 3 and 6. That 8 says this is a 2-4 pair. Finally, uh, this must be 6. This must be 5. These guys have to be from 2 and 8. We can do that. 8 and 2. And what do these guys have to be? 5 and 6. We can do that. 6 and 5. Good. Now we know this can't be a 3. What else do we know about this German Whisper? These guys are going to be the lows, so twos, threes, and fours. Neither one can be four, so it's a two, three pair. This has to be a high digit, can't be six or seven or nine, so it's eight. Good. Then we know what these, oh, the two, three pair will give us the four and the two, and it'll give us a two down here. Now we can finish up this column. What is this? Five, I think. Yes. Get on the right one. What are you? A four, it seems. And then what are you? Eight. Good. Uh, I'm going to look at this guy. It has to be from four, five, and seven. All we can really do is remove the four at the moment. But that's fine. Uh, this digit here has to be high can't be 8 or 9, and it can't be 6, so it is 7, which forces the 2 and the 3. There we go. Good. Um, and that should give us a 5 here. Good. And I think we just need to start cleaning up the little bits that are left over now. Uh, so we need a 2 and a 4. We can do that on the edge. That's 4 and 2. These guys have to be from 3 and 7. We can do that. What do these guys have to be? Six and seven? We can do that. Two, three and five. Huh, we can't do that just yet. We'll just have to move on to one of these other uh, spots and finalize those, and this will pop itself out at some point, I'm sure. Or, or we can just look at the twos into this region. This must be a two with something. Yeah, let's go back to what we're thinking about here. So we need 4 and 8. This is 4, this is 8. Uh, what are these two? 3 and 6. This is 3, this is 6. That gives us finally the 5 and the 3. Got to it eventually. Um, 3 and 5. We can do that. 5 and 3. Uh, the 4 here gets our 7, 4, and then now we can just finalize these guys. This has to be 5, this has to be 6, and this has to be 7. There we go. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> 1833. Um, wow. Uh, it says it's been out for 200 days. That just means that it it's, was in the system for that long, but it's been put onto this uh, the website fairly recently. I think... Uh, probably within the last week or so, something like that, or something along those lines. So, um, so really, this is about a week or two old. Um, anyway, really fun puzzle. I really did enjoy that. It is kind of nice how every little thing did uh, tell us something, and then we just moved on to the next point, and it told us something else, and then the next one told us something else, et cetera, et cetera. So kind of the one at a time is very apt for what this thing was. So really enjoyed that puzzle. Hope you all did as well, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.